Hi Virgo, <laughs> welcome to June 2014. Now you're thriving in June. This is a strong month for you. You're loving all the action you are getting. Everyone is vying for your attention. You can make great strides in your life and your professional advancement because destiny is on your side in June. Now the big news in June is Mercury retrograde. Mercury will retrograde June 7th through July 1st. And I have the Mercury uh, retrograde wisdom tool here. If you go to my website, you can read all about the do's and don'ts of navigating Mercury retrograde. Um, for you, I, I would say move forward because Mercury is in Cancer at the time of retrograde and then it backs into Gemini and Gemini is 10 signs from you. Gemini rules your destiny in the world, your profession in the world, what you do in the world. And so this is a great time for you to be ambitious. This is a great time for you to push ahead and move ahead with your projects, your goals, and what you're doing. This has been a very strange year because it's been like the year of retrograde. So if we're waiting for everything to go direct, we may as well wait for 2015. Uh, and you don't want to do that. So you can still get things done with Mercury retrograde. Life goes on. You know, Mercury retrograde's um, 10 weeks out of the year. That's two and a half months. So we can't put our life on hold for two and a half months. So the, the best strategy with Mercury retrograde is to back up all your data and double check all of your uh, emails, double check the contract you're signing, um, double check everything. And if you're doing that, you'll be fine. And business can go on, life can go on, and you can keep thriving because this is a wonderful time for you. It's a strong time for you. The sun is in your area of profession in the world, destiny in the world. So it really is shining a light on you and what you do. And this will attract uh, new clients, new customers. And so that's what you know, you want to be doing is, is being out there and getting things done. Now, Neptune is going to retrograde June 9th through the 15th. And for those of you that have ascendant Virgo, sun in Virgo, moon in Virgo, or planets in Virgo that are anywhere between 3 degrees and 10 degrees of Virgo, this is really going to give you a break from all of that Neptunian confusion around your relationships. Uh, because when Neptune goes retrograde, now is the time for you to integrate all of the lessons in discernment, all the lessons in truth that you have been receiving while Neptune has been direct since November of 2013. So now you're getting a reprieve from all of that Neptune business, and that's good news. And so it's time to integrate and assimilate what you've learned from Neptune. And... Um, and that's nice. Now, Chiron's going retrograde there too in Pisces. And that's good too because Chiron is the wounded healer. And so you may have been experiencing some pain in your relationships or pain with a particular person who's not well balanced in your life and they don't make good choices. And you've been in there trying to help them and they're, you know, it just isn't helping you. Um, and so with Chiron going retrograde June 19th through November 24th, here's another break in the um, spiritual evolution of your relationships. So remember, relationships are all mirrors to us. So we learn through others. We learn through what they're mirroring back to us. And you're getting a reprieve from that June on where you really want to keep the focus on you and your ambition and your career and um, new relationship. So I really like this energy for you here in June. Now you have the fabulous Sagittarius full moon um, and that's on June 13th. And Sagittarius rules your foundation. And I like this moon because Uranus is in harmony with it and there's no uglies on it. So. Um, I'm really happy for the Saggies too, <laughs> that they get this moon. And so Uranus is in harmony with the moon. And this could be a good time for you to buy real estate. This could be a good time for you to move. You could get an opportunity on a really nice house or a great loan. You know, you get some sort of fantastic uh, low interest, low money down kind of financing that puts you in a good position for um, 
upgrading where you live, upgrading a new home for you, or renovating the home you're in. So this is a good time for you to do it. And again, we can't wait for all the planets to be direct. Um, and so you can sign a contract as long as you're reading the fine print, you understand everything, and you're really uh, in good communication. Now I have the Master Communication Program here also for you. This is a wonderful tool to look at um, your communication skills, your style of communication, how well you listen. We're in the cycle of Gemini and Mercury and Gemini rule communication. And the better we are at communication, the more prosperous we're gonna be, the more uh, highly functional we're going to be. Communication is everything. It's everything in relationship, it's everything in business. And this program can empower you to see how mature you are, how well you listen to others, um, how well you're received by others. What is your style of speaking? What is your style of listening? And how can you improve these skills? And this tool, this program can help you do that. So I've given that to you because we're in the cycle of the communication masters, Gemini, and we want to amp up um, our communication skills in June. And of course, you know, Mercury, you share that with uh, Gemini. You both are ruled by Mercury. And so why not use this time to amp up your communication skills while the messenger is in reverse? It's a wonderful time to do research. It's a wonderful time to re-energize yourself, strategize, you know, re-strategize. Look at your strategy. See which strategies are working. Let go of the strategies that aren't working. It's a good time to do research. Anything you put the word RE in front of, research, reinvent, rediscover. Uh, Mercury retrograde is fantastic for that. But you know, I really like this Mercury retrograde because it is in Gemini. And Gemini is the party sign. Sagittarius is a party sign. Leo and Aquarius are the party signs. So this is the time to celebrate. And you're going to be really busy in June and have a lot going for you and have a lot to celebrate. Mars will square off with Pluto on June 14th, and Mars is now direct in Libra. Yay! And so um, this could be about you standing for yourself and your earning ability. Now that Mars is moving forward, this is going to increase your earning ability. This is going to increase your sense of self-worth, self-respect, self-appreciation. And Pluto and Mars, when those two clash like that, it does make you really ambitious. So you are hustling in June. You are working to make more money. You are working to get more clients, get more customers, get out there, make it happen. And even for those that are retired or stay at home, you still have a destiny in the world. You're a human being. You're a unique human being in the world and you have unique accomplishments in the world. And so you can use this energy to cut through and make things happen. I really like this energy for you. And then Mercury re-enters Gemini on June 17th and conjuncts the sun on June 19th. There's a special message in here for you in regards to your destiny, in regards to your unique place in the world. So pay attention to what the universe says to you on the 19th because you could have a real epiphany, a huge breakthrough. Aha, you know, like, aha, now I get what I need to do to expand my business. Now I, I know what I, I need to do to get that promotion. And so use this sun consciousness conjunct Mercury in Gemini, the messenger, to receive that uh, insight from the universe that they're trying to bring forward to you and empower you to advance you in your position in the world, your status in the world, and of course your destiny in the world. Then we have um, summer solstice on June 21st. Of course, it's happy summer in the northern hemisphere, happy winter in the southern hemisphere. Can't forget our friends down south. And um, this is a wonderful energy for you because Cancer sextiles Virgo. So with the sun going into Cancer, it lights up your hopes and your wishes, your goals, your ideals, sudden luck, sudden fortune, uh, the love you receive from others, sudden opportunities, breakthroughs. This is a really strong month for Virgos. This is your time to take action. Yes, Mercury's re in reverse, but you know what? You can work with it. You know, just double check everything. You know, don't assume they got the email. Don't assume they got your voicemail. People can send me uh, voicemails when Mercury's retrograde, and I don't even get them. They don't even go to my voicemail. They'll be like, why didn't you call me back? Well, 
when did you call? You know, I left you a note voicemail. Really? You know, I didn't get it. You know, it's like weird like that. Keep a sense of humor because Mercury is the trickster. He loves to clown on us. He loves to do this stuff. You know, like I'll put my keys down and then I can't find my keys. And you know it's Mercury. And then you'll be like running around the house trying to find your keys so you, go, so you can leave. And then, you know, like half an hour later and there they were on the kitchen table. You never saw them, right? That's Mercury. Mercury will hide things on you just to make sure you're keeping your sense of humor. We take life too serious. We take it all too serious. So, so you know, use this energy to increase your income, increase your status in the world, and allow the love in. Because Cancer's in here lighten you up, baby. And um, Venus enters Gemini on uh, June 23rd. That's uh, your position in the world increasing. This can bring you new work opportunities where all of a sudden you look good to everyone. All of a sudden the boss is looking at you going, hey, Virgo. You know, I'm going to make you manager. I'm going to make you vice president. Or, you know, you get, um, all of a sudden your business gets all this recognition. You know, like, wow, you know, he's really good at what he does. And so all, you get all this attention now and you're like, wait, I've been at this like forever. And all of a sudden you're noticing me. What? Thank Venus. Thank the stars because the planets are coming together for you here this summer. So um, I really like giving you good news. So, so Venus is working for you. And then um, Mars is going to oppose Uranus on June 25th. This gives you courage, okay? I actually like Mars firing off now with the, with the Pluto Uranus. And the reason is because he's direct, which means, you know, Mars is our energy and drive in life. You can't get anything done without Mars. And with the guy asleep, it wasn't working. So now he's direct. Now he's flying forward. Now he's challenging Pluto. Now he's challenging Uranus. And... This is about your resources. You are not in the mood. If people owe you money, you're going to be like, pay me. And um, this is good because you're going to attract more money. You're going to attract more uh, wealth. And, you know, I always like to create the win-win. I always listen to people. I always listen. I, uh, you know, that's one of my skills is, you know, I'm really good at listening. And so when you've got Pluto Mars or Pluto Uranus, you want to create the win-win. You know, human nature is always what's in it for me. So when people are trying to work with you or love on you or whatever's going on, you want to hear what they need from you. Doesn't mean you have to do it, but at least you're acknowledging, you know, I hear what you're saying, Joe, and I understand it. However, here's what I need from you. So that way you're standing in your power, but you're acknowledging the other person, but at the same time you're asking for what you need. You're asking for what's rightfully yours. And you're not going to have a problem with that because Mars is direct and Mars is flying forward and Mars is going to be in this area of your chart till the end of July. And so now's the time to hustle to make more money. Now's the time to hustle to get more clients, cut through the debt, cut through, eliminate debt, increase income, reduce uh, expenses, and hold on to that cash coming to you because it's yours. Then you have this gorgeous new moon on June 27th. I love the Cancer new moon. It's fertile. It is in the fertile ground of uncertainty where the limitless possibilities are. This is the time for you to plant the seeds, whatever you're cooking up, whatever you're dreaming, your hopes, your wishes. With this Cancer new moon, set your intention for what you want to create for the next 30-day cycle or for the rest of 2014 because it's high in your chart. It's at the top of the chart and it's in a money house. And Neptune is in the area of relationships harmonizing with this new moon. So even if others have let you down in the past, spirit is saying, I have your back. Don't worry about what other humans do. I've got your back and I got all the cosmos. So, so you have friends in high places looking out for you. You've got the ascended masters looking out for you. They've got your back. Don't worry about other humans. Just focus on what you want to do. Focus on your intention. Focus on what you need to get done. This could bring in a new relationship because Neptune is in harmony with the sun and the moon. And the sun and the moon is in the area of the love you receive from others where friends turn into lovers. So anything's possible with this. Now, Pluto is opposing it, but Pluto's loose. Pluto is seven degrees away, whereas Neptune is less than two degrees away. So um, Pluto is there to remind you about power how you use power, how you own your power, how you nourish your power, or how you give your power away. And if we're in a power struggle with someone else, it means we're in a power struggle with ourselves. 
right? Because we can't struggle with another unless we're struggling with ourselves. Because everyone's a mirror to us, and that means that person you're struggling with is mirroring an aspect of yourself that's, that is doing to you what that other person does, right? So, so oppositions are awarenesses that come to us to awaken us. So this new moon is giving you the opportunity to look at your power, how you use your power, and um, use it to create the win-win. You see, because this is a strong month for you. Own your shadow side, okay? Pluto brings up the guilt, the shame, the manipulation, the jealousy, for instance. And instead of going into the negative, use that energy to be productive. Use that energy to cut through because the law of attraction is always working. There is no such thing as no in an attraction-based universe. Everything means yes, come to me. So Pluto, power, passion, desire, want, you need that to be greater than your resistance. Okay? And then you are a deliberate creator. And you can create more wealth. You can create more love. You can create greater health and well-being. Whatever it is you want to create, you can create this month by amping up your passion for what you want and not letting the shadow get in the way, not letting the negative ego get in the way, but cultivate that healthy ego. You got to have a healthy ego to be successful. You have to, because you have to put yourself out there and let others know you're there, and that requires a healthy ego. So nourish and nurture your healthy ego and keep the shadow on a short leash, and you will be successful. You will be a deliberate manifester, a deliberate creator, creating more wealth for yourself. So the Cancer New Moon energy is about manifesting your heart's desire. Harness this power, harness this energy to focus on what you want to create, to focus on what's working for you, and watch the magic happen. This is a wonderful month for uh, Virgo. It's a strong month for love. The love area is very much highlighted. So those of you that are interested in meeting someone new or interested in love, it's on the horizon for you. For those of you that are already in a, a, you know, coupled in a relationship, this can bring more passion to the relationship. It can bring more romance to the relationship. You know, um, it's really interesting because you're in a strong cycle now. And I see money increasing for you in June, especially if you're hustling. You know, the more you go after what you want, the more money you're going to make. Health looks good. I don't see anything in uh, the health area and so this is a really strong time for you and of course you're spiritually advancing <laughs> you're always spiritually advancing and uh, it's amazing but I really see that this is a time for you to advance your career advance your profession advance your work and then Mercury is going to go direct July 1st and so July is going to be even stronger for you so take advantage of June you know Mars is direct now and Mars is helping you to earn more money to increase your self-worth and self-appreciation and self-respect and you can do that in June it's yours so claim it seize it go after it Make it happen, Virgo. The best is yet to come. And you ain't seen nothing yet. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing, and Googling my podcast. You're so awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you would like for me to take a detailed look at your personal astrology, it's very easy. You go to my astrology service page. You purchase your session. Upon checkout, you get the link to my schedule. You get scheduled. We're off and running, rocking and rolling. So until next time, Virgo, keep believing. Met a devil man. He took my heart away. He said I had it coming to me and that I wanted it this way. <laughs> I think that any love is good loving. So I took what I could get. Yeah, I took what I could get, and then he looked at me with those big brown eyes and said, You ain't seen nothing yet. But ba ba baby, here's something, here's something you're never gonna forget. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs>